Well, hey guys, I just got up, got dressed, my laundry got started. Well, my laundry didn't get started, I started my laundry. Rocking my CRZ yoga wear, even though I'm not doing any yoga today. <laughs> it's a live, laugh, lie. That's a little wellness sarcasm. Oh, of course a robo collar. You guys have told me how to stop the robo collars and I've done that thing but somehow they bypass it. What, you know, where you call the company, where you hit, bl I blocked them and more of them appear. I know there's something you guys have told me about that I, will help me get rid of them. I just have, have to enact it. And now, see, and it always happens. Like, look, I've got cleanser in my hands and it's going, like, I'm not gonna be able to shut that thing off. So you, you're forced to be annoyed by the Once upon a time now, <clears throat> People used to come to your door. How creepy is that? If somebody came to my door, I would legit like <laughs> freak out. Um, like I get, I, I freak out when the delivery people, like the, um, when I get a package or something, I always am like, <gasps> if I'm here and I get a package and there's a knock on the door, cause they always knock, which I appreciate. But it always startles me. I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting robbed. <laughs> Never mind. it's just another live, laugh, lie top that I had to have. <laughs> So when I said, how creepy is that, that people used to go door to door, it actually wasn't creepy because, you know, it was just a different time. But yeah, salespeople would come to your door, like encyclopedias and things of that nature trying to sell you. Um, and now I feel like that doesn't happen. And if it does, we get really freaked out. I mean, shoot, I used to go door to door selling Girl Scout cookies and nowadays you can't, I don't think you can do that anymore, right? I think one of y'all told me that. The Girl Scouts do not do the door to door thing anymore. Which is sad, you know, that we live in that kind of world now. These times they are changing. <laughs> I see the Girl Scouts though, like outside the grocery store selling cookies. We used to do that too, but that was like not our main <laughs> income stream from the cookie sale. I feel like maybe it was, I don't know. But now with the internet, why would you go door to door? I mean, you can reach so many people. All right, coming on over with this centella. I slept. It was one of those sleeps where like when you do, when it's time to wake up, you're like, what just happened? Because usually there's some, at least for me, I usually will wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, get a drink of water, and then I'll fall back asleep right away. That didn't even happen. <laughs> so it was a, such a solid sleep that it's like. All right, and then I'm coming on over with the Madagascar. Sorry about that, your battery died, you guys. Mid, when I was just getting started putting my sunscreen on, I went in with that Skin 1004 um, Hyalo Sika Sun Serum. I'm looking for, I'm looking for my coffee stash because the time's come to open, where are you at? A new bag of Raven's Brew. I'm going in with Bruin Blend. Isn't he cute? I just love the artwork on these bags. Um, yeah. Oh, nothing like the smell of a new bag of beans. Check out the bean of vision. Ah, oh, get on in there. Take a whiff. Feel life get good. Alright, let's get these ground. Let's get these ground and cooking. Funny thing, I saw someone the other day, I think it was on YouTube, brew tea in a French press. I feel as though I knew you could do this. Let me know in the comments if you make tea in a French press because 
Um, like loose leaf tea. I think I would. I think I would like that. Cause I've complained on here before about how I don't enjoy the tea bag issue. That's why I love my peak teas. Those little crystals that dissolve really easily. You don't have to steep. But yeah, I should. Uh, I should look into the French press for tea. Man, the pollen counts are up. I think it's oak pollen. If you have seasonal allergies. One thing I swear is a game changer is to not uh, wear your street clothes in your house because they bring in a lot of pollen. I know it sounds like over the top, but when you're struggling with seasonal allergies, it's like you'll you'll take whatever you can get, and it definitely can make a huge difference. Especially you know if you think about it, you um, you bring in a lot of pollen, it, it can transfer to surfaces, couch. You sit on your couch and that pollen gets on that or mold spores and things of that nature. The other thing is make sure you're vacuuming consistently and staying on top of dust and dust mites. It, it really can make a huge difference. I've, I've noticed personally over the years switching up to that kind of approach has made a huge difference for me. Um, because the pollen and, and air quality here can get really bad. Uh, between all of the flora and fauna and their pollen plus the mold spores plus the pollution of being in an urban environment yeah it really can get those mast cells a degranulating let me tell you man why is the street so busy today well i know why it's the street that leads to costco and there's probably going to be a crowd there but i need to go and get some things plus i want to see if they got any new uh stuff in like the clothing you can always find great deals on clothing in costco um, do you guys get the, those of you who shop at Costco, do you get the Costco connection? I always love getting that. It's like a pleasant read. I've always enjoyed magazines though. Um, because I find that they're just very leisure, leisure, leisure reading. Uh, the glossies. I love like good housekeeping. Uh, and I'm not even like somebody who's motivated to do like home decorating or anything. I just like looking at the nice pictures or like uh, Better Homes and Gardens. I love that magazine. I just think the photographs are really nice. I went through a phase like years ago uh, before before YouTube was really a thing where I would get, uh, the library used to carry, at least the library that I was going to at the time, carried all the magazines. And so you could check out magazines. It was awesome because you could read any magazine you wanted to, bring it home, have it for a couple of weeks, read the whole thing cover to cover, and take it back. And they had like this kind of glossy reinforced coating, I feel like, for the library. But I used to do that all the time. It would be like my light leisure reading. And it really helped me fall asleep. Um, I'm all about sharing with you guys as many sleep tips as I can come up with because I know it's a struggle to get back on track with sleep. But uh, light reading like that, not on a device, uh, just like a regular book or magazine, it can help you fall asleep because A, just something to d distract you a bit and then moving your eyes back and forth relaxes you. I always am able to fall asleep when I'm reading horizontal. Even, even if I'm completely rested, not the least bit tired, if I recline, if I lie down and start reading, <sighs> I want to pass out. It just lulls me right to sleep. Um, but yeah, like I can't lie down and get too comfortable if I'm if I need to be reading. I have to be sitting up in a chair. The other thing for me is I cannot sleep without a fan. Uh, I have to have air circulating around. And so, like, if the power goes out, my fans go out. I'm like, <gasps> I'm awake. It wakes me up right away. Yeah, having a fan really helps, especially if you live somewhere that's uh, very warm and, and humid and you don't have central air. That can definitely help a lot just to circulate the air around. This dump truck is just all over the place on, on the street, honking at people. Like, I mean, dude, chill out. We're all, we all have to stop at this red light. Like, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get to the dump site any faster by this erratic behavior you're exhibiting here. Every time I look over at this uh, shopping center over here, I feel a little, um, oh, 
my god y'all stopped here at a red light remember i told you we weren't going anywhere any any faster he just pulled out into traffic made a right turn from this left lane in full full-on traffic like that guy or gal i don't know I, whoever was driving Um, what was I telling you guys? Yeah, I always get a little twinge of sadness because the witch witch, which I loved, is no longer there. And I can't, like, most of them around the Houston area seem to have gone out of business. But their black bean burger is seriously delicious. Anytime I'm somewhere that has a witch witch, I make a point to go in because the burger is really good. The, the patty or whatever it is. Um... Funny thing, you know, the other weekend I shared with you guys a horrible veggie burger that I had had. I got a lot of comments. People were like, I would never eat a veggie burger. And I'm like, really? Like, never, ever eat, like, falafel? I just, I don't know. Some people, I guess, are not so interested in trying new foods, I suppose. But uh, speaking of falafel, uh, Costco often has good falafel, uh, and we're here. Um, the question though is whether to park in the garage or to park in the, in the lot. I'm gonna go in the garage. I mean like, is it just like you don't like vegetables or maybe you don't like beans? A lot of people don't like beans. Um, uh, like if you don't eat vegetables and you don't eat beans, then I could see having no interest in, in eating a veggie burger because that's what they are legumes and vegetables well i mean they can be made from a variety of things but uh for the most part yeah that's what they are uh, but falafel is basically a veggie burger um it's just ground up ground up legumes and a bunch of seasoning i always get that whenever i go to I always get falafel whenever I go to like a Middle Eastern place, they're always really good. We have a lot of really good like Middle Eastern restaurants around here, FYI. Highly recommend. Oh my gosh, you guys, I may have to snag this six pack Yankee candle set, $19.99. I haven't had a Yankee candle in a long time. They're so expensive, but these little minis are cute. I, I gave a whiff to the Coconut Beach, and you can't go wrong with their Macintosh. It's like a classic. What does this pink sand smell like? I love these toppers, too. Hmm. They also have this three-pack of uh, Home Essentials. Wolfberry Mandarin. Hmm, mm, that's nice. Yeah, there's a Yankee Candle outlet um, in like near the hill country. It's really good. If you like Yankee Candle, you can get really good deals there. Costco has the newer iRobot, the one that has this like refill station. I love mine. It came from Costco, but mine's an older model. You can get it on Amazon. It's a lot less expensive than this newer one. It's like depending on if Amazon's having a deal, you can get it for um like 250 or 270 but i i love it i didn't think i was gonna like it but it's it's amazing i wonder how the shark one does see i don't like this because i don't want to have all that hanging out in my room i like the idea of just being able to empty these more regularly they're really the one i have is really easy to empty i have a shark vacuum too but i find it's a pain to empty because um I mean, I love the vacuum, but I don't like emptying it. Like, hair and stuff gets, winds around the central part, and you have to take scissors and cut it when you empty it, and I hate doing that. Ooh, this is a good price. $15.99 for the six-pack of bowls with the lids on them. Those are really nice for, like, sides and stuff, meal prep, eating outdoors, too. And you can put them in the microwave. Hmm. They're really pretty. I'm not so into all of this trend of all these like refrigerator organizer bins because 
I feel as though like you get the bins, you have certain foods at the moment that fit in the bins and then you buy different foods or like you don't run out of that type of food all at once and but you replenish it and it just overwhelms the bin system. Yeah, I, I'm not I, I'm not I'm not getting on board with those those organizer bins. Like I see these people on TikTok, they have all these different types of ice cubes, which I, I can get behind because y'all know I like my drinks. And I can see the fun of that, but it's just like, wow, you have a lot of different types of ice. <laughs> uh, Jet 2 pack, $69.99. I was getting a lot of ad ads for this or people talking about it a couple of years ago. Maybe during the lockdown, I feel like this, this was being touted as like amazing. It does look handy for like making smoothies at work. But uh, can you drink right out of this? Crushing blender. 70 bucks for two blend jets. It charges with a USB cable. What the heck is the Ninja Speedy? Okay, Ninja needs to, to slow down. I swear, every time I come to Costco, there's some new Ninja thing. Ninja Creamy, Ninja this, that, Ninja Foodie. Remember Ninja Foodie? How is Ninja Foodie? different from Ninja Speedy. Rapid cooker and air fryer. Is it like a... I feel like these are all just reiterations of the same convection oven, but like with different shapes. Here it is. It steams, it crisps, it steams and bakes. Just a lot. Ah, I see. You can do steam on top. You can, okay. You can do a couple of different foods all at once. But then you also have this tiger rice cooker with a steam function. $89.99. I feel like this tiger brand's pretty good though. Yeah, you know, I've heard that it's a good good quality rice cooker. Yeah, I still have my Kasari multi cooker. That's what I cook rice in. I mean that thing does it all and I've had it for years. So, they keep coming out with these new versions of the same thing, but mine, mine still works. I still use it pretty much every day. Make everything from yogurt. You can make popcorn in there. I mean, you name it. They don't make mine anymore. They have a newer, jazzier one, but it's lasted. Trudeau, four and a half inch bowls, 10 pack, ten ninety nine. Stackable and dishwasher safe porcelain. They're really pretty. I have two purple, two red, two blue, two yellow, two green. Schmidt Brothers Shear Set, five pieces, $16.99. Good kitchen, kitchen scissors. We've got Schmidt Brothers Steak Knife Set, $39.99. We've got the water bottles. You don't know. I'm always tempted. Whoa, what is that? It's a water slide. Oh, that looks like fun. You come out of the shark's mouth. $400 worth of fun right there. Speaking of inflatable fun, that looks like a lot of fun. $159.99. Here it is, blown up. Even has a little shade structure. Six people fit on that thing. 32 degree cool. You guys often ask me the black t-shirts that I wear to sleep in. Are these from Costco. $12.99 for three of them. They're really comfortable. Look, they have them in more springy colors here too. The seafoam green is pretty. Yeah, they're like very breathable, nice smooth material. Well, we managed to come out of Costco unscathed. It was definitely uh, packed in there. FYI, they still have the Aquaphor 2-pack. It's a really good deal. You get two large tubes of Aquaphor plus the Aquaphor lip balm. I think it's like 10, 10 or $11 uh, for the 2-pack. And they also still have, they, 
they have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, Hydrating Gel Cream, the fragrance free one. They also have the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Regenerating Cream, but they don't have the fragrance free one of that. Um, that's a really good product, um, by the way, the Neutrogena Retinol. The base is like very deeply hydrating and it really smooths everything out. You know, let me know in the comments, those of you who live in Houston, have you noticed a decline in the grackle population? Let me know. I have observed that recently over the past year and a half, two years, that there don't seem to be as many grackles. It's the most bizarre thing though, if you ever come here, like they'll just suddenly appear, these are a type of blackbird, like a crow almost, they'll just appear out of nowhere in like mass swarms, especially at intersections where there are like a lot of, um, you know, like the stoplight cords. <laughs> uh, they like to hang out there and usually this time of day is when a, a big influx of them will suddenly come out of the sky. I haven't seen as many of them though uh, lately. I don't know if that's some kind of migratory thing going on. Maybe because we had some freezes here over the past few years, and maybe that's impacted whatever it is they eat, you know, whatever the bug population. But yeah, I don't know if the grackles do anything for the mosquitoes. If they do, then grackle on by all means. But it, it is a little, it is a little bizarre when they come out because they just it's, there's so many of them, and it's like uh, that movie, The Birds. Have you guys ever seen that old, old movie? You know, when I lived in uh, Colorado, I lived in Northern Colorado for, for a good chunk of time. And uh, every summer we would get this influx of moths. Oh my God, so, ugh. Like, I don't know, you would never think a moth would be a bothersome creature, but when there are like thousands of them ugh, flying around your head, they're, sense uh, and it would be people and people would refer to them there as millers I guess it's the type of moth but yeah and they would always leave like this residue all over everything too they were a pain they would come for it was usually like a period of two or three weeks of the miller invasion and then they'd be gone I'm not such a fan of like flying flying creatures <laughs> they're just a little too unpredictable. I don't like things flying at my head <laughs> uncontrollably. Like, I love butterflies from a distance, like looking at their wings are really pretty and everything, but those butterfly gardens, I'm not like into going into those. Have those butterflies in captivity buzzing around, I just, I don't know, I'm not, never enjoyed those. Take a photograph of a butterfly, we can admire it that way, but don't, don't keep them in a room buzzing around my head no thank you the weather's kind of cool I don't know what's going on with that go figure uh it, yeah it's kind of there's kind of like a crisp in the air which is bizarre for here ever <laughs> let alone in what month are we in now March I'm sure it'll heat up soon unfortunately it'll start getting cooktastic Kroger's got the massive aloe plant out Along with some other succulents here. These are cute. I've done I've done pretty well with the succulents. They seem to do okay. I don't know about this hen and chick. Is that what these are called? Or that's just the name of this arrangement? Those are cute. Y'all know I can't have a fern. If you know, you know. This summer orchard candle I'm going to have to get. It is amazing. The fresh apple and peach nectar is really coming through. It's like very bright. Well, I could not resist the candles in Kroger. I got not one, but two. I got that, that apple pear one was just too good to pass up, let alone it being on sale. I had to have that for the summer, summer, summer time. It can be hard to find a good summer scent that's not like over the top, like sickeningly sweet. And uh, I also snagged an Easter candle, mostly because of the label. I'm a sucker for the Tuscany candle labels. They're just so pretty and festive. If you've not tried a Tuscany candle and you enjoy candles, you need to try one. 
I'm enjoying Winter Solstice on Audible. I always enjoy Rosamund, Rosamund Pilcher. I, I feel as though it's the same reader for all of her books. So I've done a few of her audio. I've, I've done a few of her books on audio, on Audible, and I think it's the same reader they assigned to to her books. She really does a good job with the voices, um, like the accents. She does really well, and she does really well with doing male and female voices in a like not annoying way. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower. I'm coming in tonight with the Pyongyang Yule Intensive Cream, rep Intensive Repair Cream. Honestly, I feel as though people struggle, you know, to find sunscreens that are gonna work out for them. They end up wasting a lot of money. I know they're, I know people hate travel sizes because it's a lot of waste. I know people hate single use things. But I really feel like with sunscreen, there's a case to be made for that because think of how much sunscreen people end up wasting because they don't like it. You know, they try it out, they don't like it. Single, single use sunscreen, you know, single application, I think that would be great. That way you could get a feel for if it was gonna be something that's cosmetically works out for you, especially when we're getting into the territory of tinted mineral sunscreens, which are like, a loose cannon, right? I mean, they put that sheer, sheer tint, universal tint. This language is not always holding up. <laughs> and if you know, you know. Uh, we need to actually be able to test these out. That's the only way. It's, it's, you know, for example, you go into, uh, listen to me as if I know, I imagine that this is how it unfolds. When you go into Sephora, right, and you're gonna buy a foundation, you don't just walk in there and blindly pick some foundation shade and hope that it works for you. No, there's color matching. So we need to have something on that level for tinted sunscreen. We need to be able to test these things out and get test sunscreens out before we commit to the 1.7 to 3 fluid ounce tube that's going to run us anywhere from 12 to 25 dollars is the going rate on average these days for sunscreens. Um, we need to be able to test these things out. Uh, but what's gonna incentivize brands to do that? Nothing, because they wanna sell you the full ounce bottle, the full bottle. Um, it doesn't even have to be a free sample. Wouldn't you rather pay a dollar than $20, right? I mean, wouldn't you rather pay, and it's, it's a, they would make money, I would think, doing it that way because per unit, they could charge more. And for you, it would end up working out to be less because you, you would try it out. You know who does this is Elta MD. They have the single use test, the single use um, sunscreen samples. We really need that. I, I, I just invented this concept and felt I had to, I had to run it by you guys. All right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, make sure you watch tomorrow's vlog for a rip roaring good time. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.